Hello. Here we go. This is going to be really quick. So, basically, if you just have a few ingredients, which I normally always have on hand, you can whip this together anytime. So, chop up a quick onion, some ginger, some garlic, and throw it into a pan with a little bit of salt to let that the onion soften. And this is probably the thing that takes the most amount of time. I also like to keep my garlic minced and in the freezer and ready to go. So I don't have to spend time chopping. And then all you need is a few basic spices. Turmeric. Some chili powder. Some cumin. Coriander. The usual suspects. I've got all the quantities listed below, so, and on the blog, of course, yourstory.com. And if you want to go dairy-free, feel free to switch this up. You don't have to use the yogurt, you can use tomatoes. It gives you the same tangy flavor, but the original recipe calls for yogurt. That's how my mom makes it, so that's what I did. And then the secret ingredient here is tahini paste. This is what gives it the extra rich, creamy flavor. So a couple of tablespoons of tahini paste will make your curry nice and rich and creamy. And then of course, coconut milk. Coconut milk is that creaminess that you need in any curry. Now this curry is obviously a shrimp curry, but you can use any protein in this. So feel free to substitute the shrimp so tofu, or even try it with chickpeas. It would be great vegetarian as it is with fish or shrimp or even chicken. And that's it. The other thing I added there was fenugreek leaves and they help to give your curry a little bit more of a desi flavor. So that's the other secret ingredient. That's it. Come check out my full recipe and I'll see you soon.